What's your reaction to the report that you may have put Florida at ground zero for climate change? What would you do if elected, if anything, to address the issue? Well, some of the things that we did before when I was governor, like have a climate change summit, you know, with people like Robert Kennedy Jr. and, and focus attention on it, people like Vina Koslaw from uh, Stanford. What's that? Uh, climate change is a very important issue to me. Well, uh, the question was about climate change, and I think it's very important. I mean, listen, we are blessed to live in my opinion, the most beautiful place on the planet. And I think for us to not um, pay attention to science and to ignore science is, is ridiculous. Um, climate change is a real issue. Um, and, you know, this is the ground zero for it. Just go to Alton Road sometime here in uh, Miami Beach. I mean, you know, when the sun shines, we have flooding. And there's a reason. And it's because the seas are rising. And so we need to address it. We need to focus on it. Uh, I signed some executive orders when I was governor before. I would do those again because I think they've all been undone probably now by Rick Scott because he doesn't get it. He doesn't believe it. And uh, you got to believe in science. you got to be open-minded. you have to be enlightened. Did you go after a cap-and-trade system like you did the uh, last time, which ended up, ended up not going anywhere, but did you revisit the idea of cap-and-trade for Florida? Listen, I, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that we're addressing this important issue. And as Floridians, I think we have a duty to do it. Frankly, as human beings, we have a duty to do it. Uh, if we don't, you know, we don't know what the future is going to be, and I want a very bright future for all of us. I interviewed the governor before he's in town. He's in an office, he is in town, uh, at a food bank, giving out food. And we talked to him, he talked about jobs, jobs, jobs. Mm -hmm. Well, jobs are incredibly important, uh, but, but not just, you know, uh, base-paying jobs. We need good-paying jobs. You know, we need a governor who understands that the minimum wage is important and needs to be risen. He says it makes him cringe. I mean, come on. You know, you got to have a heart for people in the middle class and be willing to fight for them. Rick Scott won't fight for them. He won't allow a minimam wage to go into effect. He won't lift a finger to expand Medicaid. There's a million Floridians every single day that aren't getting health care because Rick Scott doesn't have the intestinal fortitude to do what's right for those people. That would have brought $51 billion over 10 years to Florida. I mean, his policies are nonsense, and we need to have comments. Probably, why not address Nan Rich and her request for debates? You debated Rubio in 2010 in a primary. Why not her in a Democratic primary? What's important for this campaign is to be focused on, on the real opponent here. The real opponent here is Rick Scott. He certainly thinks I'm the opponent. Opponent. You know, their campaign has spent somewhere north of $20 million on this campaign already, about $10 million on television alone. If I take my eye off that target, shame on me. I have a duty to the voters. I have a duty to our supporters. And I'm going to stay laser focused on Rick Scott and making sure we change the leadership in Tallahassee on November the 4th. Charlie, can you give an example of racism you've seen in the Republican Party? I'm sorry? Give one example of racism you've seen in the Republican Party. Could you be more clear? I've already talked about it. You know, and what do you it, think about it speaks for itself.